Rocklink is excited to announce the launch of Index, our new portal for allowing you to view your portfolio online, access statements, and much more. We hope you will find this tutorial helpful in navigating our new system. To begin, you can log into Index right from the Rocklink website at www.rocklink.com. Click this client login button in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you are using a mobile device, open the menu and the link can be found at the bottom of the screen. Use the credentials provided to you by Rocklink to log in. You will be prompted to change your password when you log in for the first time. When you first log into Index, you will see your portfolio dashboard. This dashboard functions as your starting point to access the various tools that Index has to offer. At the very top of the screen, you will see your personal information. You can click on Client Info to view a more complete profile. If there are ever changes to your information, such as a change of address or marital status, please be sure to let us know so that we can update our files. Moving down the screen, you will see your portfolio summary table. This table will show you your various accounts, loan value if you have a margin account, and your portfolio total across all accounts. In this drop-down menu, you can select your various client IDs that you have with Rocklink. By selecting one of the portfolios, you will see the screen update to a narrower view, allowing you to select individual accounts, such as your TFSA or RRSP. Clicking one of these accounts will open information on your asset allocation, based on asset class or industry categorization, with a pie chart showing the weightings. You can see your total change in account value over the last month, quarter, and year. And finally, you can view the top 10 securities in your account by dollar value. Click Holdings to view all of your individual securities in your account. Here you can see the companies that you own, as well as the performance of each of your stocks. You can also toggle between accounts by clicking on the additional tabs here. Always click the Dashboard button to be able to view all the menu options again. The Analytics page is another area where you can view your asset allocation pie chart. The key difference in this section is that you can alter the date to see how your accounts have changed over time. We will use the Dashboard button again to view the menu. To access your current statements from Rocklink, you can click on Current Reports. This link will automatically generate your most recent quarterly statement as well as your annual CRM2 report. This button will generate statements that corresponds with your portfolio ID that is selected from the drop-down menu here. If you are accessing reports from another portfolio, simply select the portfolio from the menu and click Current Reports option again. We will send you notifications each time that you have new statements available. The Public Documents tab will allow you to access a library of helpful tutorials that we have created for your convenience as well as interesting articles written by the Rocklink team. The My Documents tool enables you to securely send sensitive documents to us so that you do not have to send them over email. To upload a file to My Documents, click the Add button on the right hand side. You can create a folder by clicking New Folder and typing in a name. Next, give your file a name, and you can select the file that you wish to upload. Here is how it will look once you complete the process. In this tab, you will also be able to access all of your national bank forms, including quarterly statements and tax slips. These reports will populate automatically and can be accessed at any time. If you need to access older documents, please contact Rocklink and we can update the specific files that you need. Also note that the files available in the My Documents window will also correlate to the portfolio ID that is selected from the drop-down menu. Be sure to toggle between accounts to make sure that you have access to all of your files. Thank you for taking the time to check out this tutorial. We hope that you have found it helpful. If you have any questions about Index or any of its functions, please contact us for assistance.